Many Cixi volunteers have corrected their wayward behaviors and changed for the better after joining Cixi and being around wholesome friends. In our next report, we meet some overseas volunteers who have turned over a new leaf because of their Cixi experiences. From Quinshan, China, Zhang Mei is married to a Taiwanese businessman. First hearing about Cixi 10 years ago, she has taken a liking to Jing Si aphorisms. The first aphorism I learned was, be willing to do, be happy to bear. Eight city volunteers used these words to encourage me when I was adjusting to my marriage in Taiwan. Another volunteer, 73-year-old Hu Huixian from Hangzhou, joined Cixi because of her daughter. My heart settled when I saw Master Zhen Yan. I have chosen the right path, the bright Bodhisattva path. I need to walk this path. Having returned to their spiritual home, these overseas volunteers are ready to start anew on their journey of cultivation. I bought a lot of clothes and I wore these fancy clothes to work. Owning many brand and clothes, Malaysia's Cixi volunteer Su Feng Lian once lived the life of a socialite. Seeing how wasteful I was, some of the clothes still have their price tags on. I stopped buying clothes two years ago after I began volunteering with Cixi. Before I joined Cixi, my friends often invited me to ride on their yachts. Cixi prevented Su Feng Lian from getting lost in material gratification. Now she wears a Cixi uniform wherever she goes. It is not easy putting on a Cixi uniform, which means shouldering responsibilities. I hope I have more time and strength to do more for Cixi and Master Zhen Yan. Having let go of her desires, Su Feng Lian is now putting her time and efforts into doing charitable work, living her life to the fullest.